Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the redesign practice online star test and this uses a new item type multiple select. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video Work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Sky completed three levels of a computer game, winning, losing, winning. We need to find some equations that can be used to find the total number of points Sky had, but we need to select two correct answers, so there's two ways to find this problem. Now, this is a two-point problem. So you can only select two. So watch what happens if I try to select three. You notice how I'm trying to select that third one? It's not letting me. I can only select a third one if I deselect one, okay? And if I don't like an answer, I can deselect it. Watch what happens if I just select one and try to move on. An error message is gonna pop up and say, you haven't answered the whole problem. It will let you move on if you say yes, but we wanna say no. So this is two points. If you get one of them correct, you just get one point none of them correct you get no points and there's five options here so let's open up our graph draw feature expand it make it a little bit more transparent so i can see the problem behind there and we're going to hit this draw feature so we can draw all over this so one a level in 465 points lost 190 points 192 points in level three and then one, so really what we need to do is we need to just translate this into, look at this, addition, subtraction. That's all we're doing for these positive or minus. Okay, so if we are going to win 465 points, okay, when you're winning something, you're getting it. So that's going to be positive. When you're losing 192 points, you're going to have a negative. Okay, then you're going to win 309 again. Okay. So this is what I would do, right? I would take my 465. Now you notice there's no plus on the front. If there's no operation in front of it, it is assumed to be positive, right? We're just It's going to be a positive number. And we'll get more into positive and negative numbers when we get into middle school. So we would take our 465... Uh, we would subtract our 192, and then we would add our 309. Okay, that's what I would do. So, yeah, it looks like it's that fourth option. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, check in this fourth option right here. Let's shrink that. Okay, that's good. But... I've got to do another one. So what is another way to represent this? It has to equal whatever this equals, right? And if I want to, um, I can actually do the math to figure that out. I could subtract 465 minus 192. That's 3. That's going to be 7. That's 273. Now i got to add my 309. So 12, 8, 5. Okay, so that's 5, 8, 82. So here's what I could do. If I wanted to, right, I could just do all of these and see what that, what, which one is going to be correct. But you know what? I can eliminate some of these because take a look. Take a look at this first one. 465 and 309. This has nothing. This completely ignores this minus 192. So I know that's not going to work. And look at this, 465 minus 192. It completely ignores that 309, okay? So those two are incorrect. Oh, but look at the difference here. Minus 192 plus 192. Look at this C right here. This wants you to add all three, but you're supposed to lose 192. So that means that's incorrect. So our other correct answer is going to be the second one. And all they did is they just switched these two. And that's fine. You can do that when you're adding and subtracting. So... My answer here is going to be the second and fourth option.